time again. Because the holidays are getting closer, I have been crafting like crazy. I just can't stop. This time of year, I just love making things for other people, which is what I've been doing lately. So I'd like to show you how to make, this is a Christmas version of the wreath, and it's super awesome, but I'm in the process right now of making a little bit larger Thanksgiving version of the wreath, and I'm going to use this really cute little owl in it. So I've already attached a couple of my bundles, and I've made a lot of extra bundles here to put on, but I'd like to show you exactly how I make one of the bundles that has to go on to fill this. So I'm going to take, this is a deco mesh that I get at the dollar store. You can get them in all different colors, but this is orange. And I'm just going to do approximately four inches. It doesn't have to be an exact amount. It just has to be enough so that when you roll it, all the sides meet. I'm going to do the same thing with this. It's like a brown burlap. And I'm going to make it about three inches and I'm going to do an orange burlap and make it about three inches. And then I'm going to do the brown and gold mesh and make it about four inches. That's meshy. It's very meshy. And it's really simple. All you have to do to put them together is roll them up. But the last step you need is a piece of ribbon cut about four inches. So I'm going to take my orange mesh and roll it up, my brown mesh and roll it up and crisscross it. I'm going to take my brown mesh and roll it up and put it over the top. My orange mesh, roll it up and put it over the top and just kind of crisscross the pieces. Put the piece of ribbon across the top like that. Take an orange pipe cleaner, pull it to the back and you want to pull it nice and tight. So once you get it around, Pull it as tight as you can, twist it, and then this gets put directly on your wreath. It's really easy. You just put it on up close next to the, the, the piece there, and I'm just going to twist it in the back around the back side like that. I'm just going to continue with this all the way around, and it will end up making a wreath that looks just like this. This one's a little bit smaller, so when this one's finished, it'll be a little bit bigger. But it is a quick and inexpensive gift that you can give to someone. This is another idea and another way to make this kind of wreath. I used this green foam wreath from the dollar store, and I took my 14 by one and a half inch pieces of fabric. This time I used Christmas fabrics and went all the way around. And then I also made this really, really cute little bow out of this um, ribbon that I as well got at the dollar store. So it's really inexpensive to make awesome wreaths that you can give as gifts. You can sell whatever you'd like. I like to give them as gifts. This year I'm also going to incorporate some letters and I'm going to do um, some families that I'm making them for using their last name initials to add on to the wreath. I think that's something that will be really, really pretty as well. I'm going to paint the letters and I think it's going to turn out awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, just a quick tutorial on how to make these really cute wreaths. Make some yourself and give them to your friends and family. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Dog.